This next section covers price quotes and reductions. The market price is the price a consumer actually pays for a product after subtracting any discounts, allowances, or rebates from the list price. Let's say you're in the market for an eco-friendly Toyota Prius. You take your friend Bob to the car lot. You see the sticker price on the new shiny vehicle at $24,000. But you can add all the features you want and apply any discounts. The amount you end up paying when you drive off the lot for this shiny new Prius is its market price equal to the list price plus any additions and less any deductions. There are several options for reductions from the list price. One option is a cash discount. This is a price reduction offered to a consumer, industrial user, or marketing mailman in return for prompt payment of a bill. Commonly seen on an invoice is the term 210 net 30, a common di cash discount notation, meaning that the customer must pay within 30 days. However, the consumer can subtract a 2% discount from the amount due if a payment is made within 10 days. The cumulative discount is an overtime discount given. Example of this is over a year if you purchase $25,000 product at a 3% rebound. 3% rebate is given. The non-cumulative is an example of one unit you pay the list price. If you want to buy more, you get a discount. For example, Say I buy 2 to 5 units, I get 10% off. 6 to 10 units, I get 20%. And over 10 units, I get 25%. Uh, premiums, example, would be the more pins that school management buys, the bigger discount we get. Another way to reduce list price is through allowances. These are specified deductions, usually in the form of either trade-ins or promotional allowances. Trade-ins, often used as in the sale of durable goods such as automobiles consists of the vendor accepting used merchandise typically of the same kind as that being bought as part of the selling price of a new good. A very common example is trading in your old vehicle when buying a new one. A promotional allowance is a reduction of the wholesale price as an incentive to retailers or middlemen. A promotional allowance compensates the retailer for expenditures made promoting the product. An example of this is the manu manufacturer giving a $50 promotional allowance for every 20 cases of soda sold. Thus, that explains why you often see creative placement of soda in the grocery store. The last method of price reductions we'll cover are rebates. You are all likely familiar with these, as a rebate is a refund for a portion of the purchase price, usually granted by the product's manufacturer, commonly provided in the appliance or electronics market. That is the end of this short section on list price and price reductions. The last section covers pricing policies.